Hello Scorpio, welcome back and thank you so very much for joining me for your intimate extended reading for Sagittarius season. So keep in mind this is not going to be for everyone watching. If it is your story, I'd love for you to comment below and if not, as always, feel free to check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid, so reverse roles however they apply. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So of course, thank you to all of my lovely Scorpio subscribers. Uh, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate all of your love and support of this channel. And for those of you who are new, we'd love to have you. So be sure to check the description box below when you subscribe. That way you can also connect with me on social media. I love hearing from you guys. So all of the links and ways to contact me are listed down below. And if you haven't already seen, I did post in my community tab regarding some awesome holiday savings for you guys. So feel free to take 50% off of all private readings, 20% off my entire website, and free shipping on all orders over $50. So if you do choose to shop my small business this holiday season, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me, and I do thank you so much for your support. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season with your loved ones. And so Scorpio, this is your intimate extended as I already mentioned. So this reading is intended to be about your person. So it could also be about you. Keep that in mind. And for you crotch washers that are watching for your person, it could also be for you. Uh, so just take the reading as it fits. Don't force it to resonate with you um, and just kind of leave the rest behind. Okay. So let's see uh, what we've got. And if you haven't already guessed Scorpio, this reading is for the ages of the 18 and up and only genre. Uh, so if you are a child, please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord as some of the images in the tarot of sexual magic can be quite scandalous as you know uh, which I'm sure is not a problem for a lot of you so if you are interested in more of these saucier readings the members only area is going to be your spot so again that link is down below feel free to uh, join because we do like to have some fun over there but uh, anyways let's see what is going on for your person Scorpio what is their general energy what is the vibe and what does spirit want us to know regarding your person's journey okay this could also be a message for you like I said um, so just take that um, take that into consideration it could be a mirrored energy depending on your situation so what do we have for Scorpios so we've got quite a bit coming. Wow. So we really do have quite a bit coming out Scorpio. Why do I feel like this is going to be extra long and extra saucy? So First of all, we have beginnings, okay? The number two, a new moon, protection, okay? We also have wisdom. So Scorpio, maybe you have decided it's time for you to just kind of walk through the awning of a new door, okay? Maybe you've been out in the cold in this snowy weather here for a while and you're seeing an opening or an opportunity to just have this new beginning and fresh start, okay? I think also, Scorpios, you guys are very divinely protected at this time and uh, this could be a major releasing period for you. So some of you could be spending a lot of time resting. Um, as you can see, she's sleeping in the nest here and she's crouched in the fetal position. So for some of you, I mean... I bendito. Some of you can be like crying um, and just like in that energy of feeling defeated in a sense, okay, where you are reaching out for your uh, protection from your spirit guides, from your angels regarding some sort of an ending, okay? If the door to a new beginning is here, you just have to kind of assume that, that another phase or chapter is coming to a close. So with the wisdom card here too, I kind of feel like Scorpio, you've gained a lot of knowledge on this journey. Um, you are reaching for something more at this point. And so if you are on the twin flame journey or you feel that sort of a soul connection, this also came up in the Libra reading. So um, definitely check your placements because there could be a dual message there for you. But uh, I see someone who has learned, okay? learned the ways of the world, seen all they needed to see, and they're shutting those books now and they're using them as a step stool to get even further on in their life, okay? So Scorpio, reaching for higher knowledge um, and understanding the need to, again, take this chance at a new beginning, maybe closing the door to the past. Um, and maybe again, this was a very cold situation that you were involved in. Someone could have left you out in the cold, okay? 
So a lot of different scenarios popping through. Definitely let me know in the comments which one is for you. So we also have the path and boundaries. So more of this energy of like seeing an opportunity to come out of a dark energy and into something new and bright and shiny. We also have the eight up here signifying the ending of a karmic cycle. So I feel like maybe Scorpio have been waiting to travel up this ladder and follow the path that you know you should be on because on some level maybe there's been things that you needed to discover about yourself, about another party, uh, but now I think you're very clear on your boundaries, okay? You are recognizing that you're not going to sacrifice pieces of yourself to, um, to keep this door to the past open, okay? So let's dig even further and see what's going on in the tarot of sexual magic okay so again this could be about you it could be about your person but uh in general with these readings thus far the the main message kind of seems to be more for you so take it how it resonates so let's dig into this person specifically and see what they're thinking about you how are they consciously perceiving you Six of Cups. So this person definitely knows that there's some sort of a soul connection here. Uh, you know, obviously this is a past life connection. So you could have some karma with this person um, that needed to kind of be uh, closed out or reconciled. And look, we have this woman here looking into the mirror of what could be. And she's holding a letter in her lap. Okay, we've got the two lovebirds um, and this bowl down here kind of signifying, you know, someone being filled with emotion. So maybe, you know, this person could be thinking about some sort of communication that happened between the two of you in the past. But ultimately, when they think of you, they have very fond memories of you, Scorpio. It's been a lot of good times with this person. And as you can see, a lot of passion. So it seems to me that they're reflecting on the past right now and feeling a very nostalgic energy. So let's delve even deeper into their feelings. How is this person feeling about Scorpio, please? So, wow, Scorpio, we've got the Empress and the Sun. So, Divine Feminine Energy and also Divine Masculine Energy. So, we've got these two individuals doing it passionately on a basket of fruit, okay? Cornucopia sex. And we've got the Empress sitting here and she's, you know... She is bearing it all, okay? She's topless because I feel as if a lot of what is going on between you and this person has been like very raw and open, okay? And I think also the way this person feels about you is they know that you are a divine being. They know that you are nurturing, giving, and they know that you're also capable of... um of displaying all of the traits of the queens in general, right? This is the queen of all queens energy. They feel that about you, towards you, and they know that this is a passionate connection. They feel like this could be something really great. Um, but with the sun, I mean, this requires someone to accept this new beginning energy. So keep that in mind. Whether you or this person is looking towards a new beginning, this is what they're feeling for you, okay? Joy, positivity, optimism. So it's like when this person thinks about you and allows themselves to feel things, they have nothing bad to say or, or feel about you. It's always been a good energy for this person is what I'm picking up on. So let's talk about how this person is viewing you in the 3D world. This could be them um, like watching you and observing what you're going through. Uh, this could be them responding to an energy that you have put off to them. So yeah, the three of wands in the reverse. So I feel like this person looks at you and knows like, yeah, there's a lot of passion here. And maybe there have also been actions taken to move this along and manifest this connection but this is my meeting in secret energy, okay? So they're having and sharing a passionate embrace behind the scenes, but um, but ultimately with this star shining brightly in the window, I almost feel like this has just been um, 
like a wish, right? Maybe something even out of reach. So with this card being in the reverse, I think that they're seeing you, Scorpio, as like no longer trying to manifest this connection. Even though there's the passion there, even though they've put effort into it in the past, and maybe they've been waiting for it for a long time. Um, I mean, you've been waiting for this for a long time. Again, this could be reversed. But they see you as like no longer waiting, no longer putting effort or intentions into the connection. So for some of you, this could be you like, again, maybe this was a secret energy between you and your person, which could be why all of this snow is here, um, signifying the need to come out of the cold and walking into a new bright beginning where maybe y'all could be out in the open with each other. Okay. So how is this person intending to act moving forward? What actions are they going to take? So Scorpio, for some of you, this person could be intending to get married. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with someone who is already married in a committed connection. Um, and for some of you, this person intends to marry you. So again, you'll know your specific scenario, but this is a card of, of wealth, legacy, and having it all. Now this specific image here you can see we've got almost this energy of like the cornucopia but it's all been spilled out okay so instead of this warm passionate mutual embrace here we have this individual who's on looking while this woman um just kind of takes in and soaks up all the pleasure so you know for some of you this person could be connected with someone who is very materialistic as you can see she's wanting to be admired and adorned um, and this man is over here just kind of like picking up the scraps. So for some of you, this person could be, like I said, getting married or um, involved in a long-term committed connection with someone who is very materialistic, okay? kind of feel like this is one of those things, like maybe they seem like they have everything, but I don't feel the, a mutual passionate energy happening here. I think it's more about the money. Okay, so um, we will clarify that as well, but let's get a little bit even further here with their true desires. So look at that. We have the star actually popping up and there was that energy coming up in the three of wands. So, you know, this person desires the opposite of this picture here. Okay, they really truly are wishing for someone to give them this attention, to pour their energy into them. And maybe Scorpio, you've been that person for this person. Okay, maybe you've been um, something that they've always wanted. Okay, the energy that the two of you share could be very, like I said, divine. Um, this could be like a divinely guided connection. But as you can see, this man here is being replenished and she is doting on him, looking into his eyes. This is a very sensual energy and she's pouring the milk and honey all over his body like this looks like it's about to be a good time now this person desires this wish come true um, but then we also have this five of swords energy so the problem is that this person is all tangled up in conflict right now this could be a very confusing time for them dealing with energies or again if they are dealing with a partner that they're committed to. This could be a, a, a partnership where there's a lot of arguing and pettiness. Um, and so, you know, while this person really wants to move things forward and um, gain momentum and, and be open and, and real and raw, it's almost like they're stuck in some sort of a competition with this person. Okay. And with the moon coming up after that, you know, this person just desires to feel their feelings, all right? They don't want to have to hide how they truly feel. And I think this person really desires an emotional connection. The problem with the moon is that there's a lot of illusions surrounding this theme, okay? So maybe this person is the type that's like, oh, if I'm going to have it all, I need to have all of these things, right? Or things need to line up for me. Again, maybe having to do with money, finances. But Scorpio, this person desires the truth to come to light in a sense. It's almost like they're hoping that, um, it's like they're involved in this situation, but they're almost hoping for like a sign in a sense or like divine timing to like alert them as to what to do about this complicated conundrum that they're in. Because ultimately, I think they've been really hiding their true feelings um, and keeping that shit under the surface. Okay, so... 
for some of you, you know, maybe this person is like lying about shit or not being honest, being very secretive, but uh, we do have your energy here. So I think that's kind of funny, right? So it's a card of Pisces energy and the moon is also Cancerian energy, but we have all of these, um, <laughs> these kind of remind me of like sirens, right? And these men are like suckling at their breasts, but it looks like they're doing magic. And it, it looks like these um, individuals are kind of messing with these men's emotions. Meanwhile, here you are, Scorpio, over here, just minding your damn business, okay? Looking for the pearl and the oyster and trying to find the silver lining in this situation, okay? So let's talk about what's going on behind the scenes for this person. Let's go a little bit deeper, okay? Yeah, so we have this um, slow and sensual energy with the Three of Cups. So this could be a third-party situation, but ultimately it's like this person desires true, raw connection, okay? They want to, um, and look, the egg with the, uh, <laughs> with the red string tied around it. So I think this person behind the scenes, what they really want to do is come back together, okay? They want to reconcile this, but... At the same time, I'm not sure that they're willing to sacrifice that third-party energy. So for some of you, this could be a very complicated situation, right? But this does represent reunion, reconciliation, um, true friendship, and trust. So again, Scorpio, you could be that person for them that they trust, that they know that they could experience this raw and true connection with, that they can um, have a true friendship with. And that is the foundation here. So maybe you've known this person for a long time. Um, but ultimately, you know, I feel as if this person maybe, and as you can see, look, they're coming up behind this woman. Maybe this person took you by surprise, especially if they were involved in another situation. But there was this energy of like not being able to resist. Okay, so let's talk about their challenge. What is this person's challenge? Yeah, their challenge is that they're not really following their destiny, okay? They're pushing against it. And um, I think this is going to end up causing a lot of upheaval and bad fortune for this person. So the image here is of someone having a bit of a glow up, right? We see this woman in rags, um, you know, rising up and putting in the work and closing out the karmic cycles to rise up in that empress energy, right? But with this card in the reverse, like I said, they're ignoring their destined path. They're ignoring what they need to do to um, have this good karma come back to them. So basically, Scorpio, your person's putting bad vibes out into the universe and they're going to get that back tenfold. Okay, and the number 10 here again, very symbolic. So, on the bottom of the deck in this person's recent past, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So, this person is not single, Scorpio. This person is in a committed connection, um, and it could be a very codependent situation. Okay, so obviously, look, it's like more of this energy of this woman like being asleep. Um, and there's this like kind of sneaky energy of like stealing something in the night and making away with it. Right. So, you know, maybe, like I said, this person has felt the need to kind of run around on this person that they're committed with for whatever the reason is. We have two of these, um, situations here where the woman is asleep. So maybe this person is, is with someone that's not really awake or um, involved or an active participant in the romance and the passionate connection that this person wants to have and manifest. So instead of ending things with this other person, they look to you and they're like, oh, well, my Scorpio is going to be there because we have this intense connection that they can't ignore. Well, Scorpio, I kind of have a feeling with this new beginning and this whole protected energy and what we talked about at the beginning of the reading that you could be cutting ties with this person. And, um, you know, if this person is, like I said, putting those bad vibes out into the universe or creating bad karma for themselves. Like you best get out of the way before that, um, fallout happens. Okay. You don't want to be the one involved in any of those uh, sticky situations or extenuating circumstances. Okay. So let's clarify the six of cups. Yeah, the world. So I think too, this person thinks the world of you. Like I said, they don't have anything really bad to say. Um, 
And again, that's why this person's going to get their fucking karma, Scorpio, because they had you and they mistreated you, okay? The, I feel this energy, like I said earlier, of the snow here with the door. This person may have felt this strong connection with you and they may feel like you're everything they could have ever wanted. But at the end of the day, like what are they really doing to show you that, okay? The world could also signify you completing major cycles since this is how they're, they're thinking about you. It's almost like this person sees you as this wise woman, um, character, man, whoever you are watching this reading, they see you as this wise individual who has been tediously going through the lessons, um, and closing out any cycles that aren't uh, meant for you. And again, this could be you finally learning the lessons from this connection. And they're seeing you and thinking about you and saying, wow, like my Scorpio ended things with me and they're moving on. And that is why they're in this nostalgic energy. So, uh, <clears throat> and look at that. We have the moon popping up at the bottom of the deck as well. So this could be a um, very deeply spiritual connection between you and this person, but there's a lot hiding, okay? There's a lot under the surface, lots of secrets, lots of illusion, okay? So let's clarify this Empress and Sun energy. Two of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so like this person had a decision to make and I have a feeling with this reverse energy, like hmm, they have already made the decision to commit to whoever this person is, right? But at the same time, like they're going back on their decision and they're like trying to see what else they can manifest for themselves, okay? So I do see this as a crossroads energy, but when it's in the reverse, again, I feel like this person has not really been able to make a solid decision on the direction of where their life is headed, okay? So this could be a very confusing energy. Um, and again, maybe the fact that you entertain this connection in the past could have contributed to this confusion, okay? Maybe you should have cut this person off way earlier than you did. So again, this person is committed, but then also the feelings they have for you are like out of this world, right? So it's like, how can they make a decision? And maybe you're the one that had to make that decision for them, okay? So let's, um, yeah, and look, two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think this person has been refusing to make the changes necessary. Um, and they're probably just like planning on juggling these two energies for the rest of their life. And that's not fucking okay, okay? So let's clarify this three of wands in the reverse as how they are viewing you. Yeah, and we've got the two of swords in the reverse with the eclipse energy happening in between the two points. So you are no longer indecisive about this crossroads, okay? And maybe this whole eclipse tunnel that we just went through and all of the fucking psychotic energy that we just went through, um, Neptune stationing direct, no more feeling stuck or in, in a place of illusion. You've been able to finally maybe cut this person off and decide, okay? Stop bearing burying your head in the sand or just kind of waiting for things to unfold, you're the one taking decisive action to cut this person off, okay, and not communicate with them. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's clarify for the Ten of Pentacles for their actions moving forward. Um, let's talk about their specific actions towards you. Flippity flip. So we have the six of swords. So I do feel as if um, their actions towards you are going to be to move away, okay, and try to heal from this as well. Um, obviously, six of swords is coming out of that five of swords energy and healing from any sort of manipulation or confusion. So unfortunately for this person, I think that because you made this decision, they're like, they have no choice now. And so I think it's so ironic how we have this rainbow up here, but look how much rain is happening and these pile of swords here up at the floor. There was a lot of, um, a lot of healing that needed to happen here because the longer the two of you perpetuated this cycle, the longer, um, <laughs> the longer it would have taken for this person to like finally move away from that manipulative energy. 
okay? So I think that's what they're doing right now because of this ending that took place. They could just be kind of healing and like focusing on like their happiness, but um but like I said, it's like when they think of their happiness, they think of the past with you. So I think that this committed connection, damn, my throat <clears throat> Y'all, my throat was totally fine before this reading. So again, there could be some issues with communication between you and this person. But ultimately, I think that the arrangement that this person has with the person they're committed with, um, it is an obligatory arrangement, okay? This person could feel very obligated towards this energy, okay? So um, let's get one more card too. Let's clarify that Six of Swords energy. <clears throat> Yeah, we have the four of wands in the reverse. So uh, again, more of this potential for union, potential for a soul connection um, and coming together with someone who is like right for you. But in the reverse, I kind of feel like if this is the way you connected with this person, they are straight up ignoring that, okay? Um, and maybe you are on the twin flame journey with this person and you're to that point where you're like, you know what, I'm done with it, okay? Time to walk away because this person is continuing to entertain multiple parties okay so let's go ahead and clarify for the stars and the wait did something flip over no <clears throat> my throat is literally um not even working right now <laughs> it's so insane all right, so to clarify this person's behind the scenes energy, we have the devil and the empress. So, and the empress did pop up in the reverse. So, like I said, this person is dealing with someone who they are codependent on. This could be a very toxic type of an energy. This is also Capricorn energy. So, there could be a lot of significant things happening with this connection in Capricorn season. Um, but ultimately, when I see the devil here with their, their little hooves on fire, I just kind of feel like this person has gotten themselves into a very toxic situation where they're going to feel very trapped and stuck and bound. Okay, and the Empress in the reverse is the distorted energy of the Divine Feminine. So the person that they're connecting with is the complete opposite of your energy, Scorpio. Okay, this person is not nurturing and kind and loving. Okay, this person is manipulative and, um, like I said, out for whatever they can get. This person is probably very materialistic. Um, and, you know, again, more of that distorted feminine energy, right? More looking out for themselves and caring about their benefits and what they're going to get out of all of this versus having this passionate embrace with someone that they truly love, right? I don't really feel like it's about love with this other connection. So <clears throat> let's clarify the, the challenge. Yeah, the challenge here is that there was an opportunity for a brand new beginning um, with a lot of promise, but this person would not take that chance, okay? <coughs> and maybe for you, this is something that you really, really wanted, like I said. So maybe you stood at this door for a long time out in the cold wondering, like, when is this person finally going to just take a leap of faith and, like, do this life with me? But in the reverse, their challenge is that they don't have any room to be taking risks right now okay especially if there's finances involved or again if they're in some sort of a committed connection so again more of that like ignoring the opportunities not trusting in the divine and just kind of going along with with the show right um and by doing that they're putting bad energy bad karma out there for themselves so to clarify the nine of pentacles in the reverse we have the judgment energy in the reverse as well so this person on some level deep deep down and maybe spirit is really tooting that horn up their ass right now um deep 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 down this person knows they made the wrong decision okay and that basically spirit is not going to let them live it down all right there's always going to be reminders for this person about the crossroads and the opportunity that they had to have this new beginning and this beautiful sun energy with you Scorpio and they're always going to be in regret um, because they're going to be facing judgment day okay they're going to be facing their karma because of how they treated you 
All right, so very interesting energy coming up for you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get into the Under the Roses Lenormand. See more about what's going on with this person's situation. Oh my God. So we got cards of flying. The clock tower in the reverse. This tells me, you know, this is the theme of separation and, um, and structure. Okay, so the separation of structure. Maybe this is like spirit alerting them and saying like your time is up. Like you had the chance, you had the opportunity, but this six of swords energy in the reverse just tells me like they've been ignoring the healing work. They've been ignoring their higher self. Okay. And maybe they've been like wasting your time. All right. And maybe this other connection is a waste of their time, but that's something that's going to be revealed to them. Unfortunately, once it's too late. Okay. So with the dog here and the 10 of cups, it's like, again, this person really, really, really wants this happiness, but I think they've been looking for it in all the wrong places. And so this is the energy of loyalty and faithfulness. So on some level, I think that because they've had issues being faithful, because they've had issues like staying loyal to one person, that's exactly why this happy ending is going to end up evading them in the long run. Okay, maybe this person has acted like a dog metaphorically, all right? Um, again, definitely comment below if it's resonating and don't forget to like the video. That definitely helps me um, boost the algorithm and get these messages out to more people. So look at that. We have the stork, the queen of cups energy, and that is you making an appearance. So again, there was this opportunity to birth something new. Um, and uh, like I said, you know, this person, I think, was just not willing to make the changes necessary to have that. And with the clouds and the lady, um, king of wands and ace of swords and I did see the king of wands at the bottom of the deck earlier um I saw a little snake from the wild unknown pop its little head so you know this could be like basically spirit saying your person is very attracted to you and the divine feminine energy of what you exemplify in this world but the problem is is that they're very confused right now okay there's lots of delays and um distortion happening in their life um it says here like dilemma um blurred and obviously the clouds too can be that um that like seven of cups energy as well like very confused or overwhelmed, not seeing things clearly, which could get in the way of them manifesting their true passion. Okay. So there's a little bit of smoke and mirrors going on with this person and maybe they're just not able to see you in all of your glory. Okay. Maybe some things are hidden from them right now and that could all be a part of your journey, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, they're aware of your divine feminine energy and they know that on some level that they're loyal to you still. Okay. Otherwise, you know, if they were truly loyal to this person that they were committed to, then, you know, you wouldn't have even hopped on the scene for this person. So, <clears throat> and, you know, I know a lot of people have argued like with this statement, but I personally feel, and, and I know that you can definitely love multiple people at the same time. And, um, there are relationships and things like that. And people who, um, you know, accept that, um, energy into their lives of being in love with more than one person. But traditionally, how I personally feel, and this is just speaking of me and my own experiences. So regardless of what you believe, do not debate me in the damn comments. I believe, okay, that if you are truly in love with someone and you are happy with that person, then there's really nothing no one else could do or say that would get in the way of that, okay? So on some level, I don't really feel as if this person is truly in love with the person they're committed to, okay? I think that um, this is something that they've craved, something that they've wanted, and again, something that they may have found within you, which has caused a lot of confusion. It's like having... <clears throat> 
It's like having two uh, people, right? And each person possesses parts of what you want in a partner, right? Um, and so you can't really decide like who, like who do I choose? It's one of those type of situations. But I have a feeling this person is going to make the wrong decision in the long run, okay? So, and you know, there are no wrong decisions, right? Everything that's meant for you is always going to be for you. And there's no chance for you to mess up something that's for you. But I do feel as if this person made a little bit of a wrong decision, Scorpio, especially if they dragged you into their complicated mess of a fucking life. Um, so yeah, take that how it resonates and let's get some messages from the lover's oracles and see what advice spirit wants to share with you before we end the reading. And this could also come up as messages from this person. Um, so just, again, connotation can vary. Anything else from... Okay, that's way too much popping out. Let's try to shuffle again. Anything else from the Lover's Oracles? All right, so time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So maybe you put a lot of effort into this connection. And like I said, you reached a little bit of a crossroads where you were like, I'm done with it. I'm not putting any more energy or effort into this shit. Um, maybe some sort of like... Again, with the clock tower in the reverse, there could be like an element of time running out, okay? So um, just take that however it resonates with you. We also have romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. So like I said, there is romance here. There is passion here. But unfortunately, um, that passion cannot truly be explored if this person still has their foot in the door of another connection. And then finally, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you have already made the decision to cut this person out. Um, and I think spirit is encouraging you to continue on that path. Like no matter how much romance there is between you and this person, no matter how great this connection might be, um, you cannot sacrifice parts of yourself or, or remove these boundaries that you have in your life for the sake of someone else's pleasure, okay? Um, because at the end of the day, you know, who's pleasuring you? Like, what, what are you getting out of all of this? Um, and again, I think that's why you've made that decision to end this cycle once and for all and finally accept the lessons that you were made to learn by connecting with this person, okay? And so, again, for those of you who are watching this and you're like, still really holding on to the idea of being with this person. Um, I'm not saying that it will never happen, but I kind of feel like this person has already made their decision and I feel like you've already made yours. So again, um, just kind of keep that in mind and, uh, yeah, let me know how it resonates with you down below. We're going to get some eternal messages and see what this person would like to say. Um, and so, you know what I think is funny too, we do have this, I want to reconcile with you energy and we did see the three of cups. So I think this person, again, they don't want any bad blood between the two of you. They don't want there to be a separation. Um, but at the same time, like I kind of feel if there wasn't a separation, then it would have just continued on and on and on like the never ending story. Okay. And you ain't no motherfucking lamb chops. Okay. So Scorpio, I was in denial. Yeah, clearly this person was definitely in denial and maybe a little delusional. Um, I know we're being spiritually guided again. Once again, this person understands that this is a very spiritual connection between the two of you. Uh, don't focus on who wants me. I want you. Well, I kind of think this person has made this uh, more difficult than that. But um, again, maybe this is a different scenario for some of y'all. Um, but again, obviously this person has options, uh, clearly, and maybe they are trying to convince you not to focus on that. <clears throat> Cause like I said, this person kind of seems like they're willing to keep one foot in the door of their connection and another foot in your doorway. And I just don't really feel like that is some behavior that you're going to let fly. Okay. And then finally, I keep a close eye on your social media. So, <clears throat> It's blocking season, Scorpio, just saying. So hopefully this reading resonated with someone. Um, 
you know, clearly there's there needs to be some sort of an ending of a cycle here. But remember, with every ending of a cycle, there's always a new beginning. There will be a door that pops up for you. So if you're in that energy that we talked about earlier, where this woman is like in the fetal position, crying in a basket, being carried by a damn bird, like this will end for you, okay? And you will have a new opportunity for passion and romance and true love and connection. You just have to stay true to your boundaries, okay? And so again, maybe all of this turmoil that you've went through has been necessary for this pathway to open, all right? So again, hopefully it resonated. Definitely comment below if it did. Feel free to take advantage of the special savings uh, for the holidays. Like I said, you can check out my description box, community tab social media all that stuff to keep up with what's going on and other than that Scorpio I hope you and your family and your loved ones have a happy holiday I love you guys and I will talk to you again very soon bye